Hello, butterfly lovers. My name is Alex, and I'm here to remind you that Western monarchs urgently need your help. This week, today, their population has decreased by 99.9% .9 over the last 40 years. That means that we have to work together now to make sure that the remaining 0.1% of that population can survive to next year and beyond. There used to be four and a half million monarchs that overwintered in coastal California forests. And this winter, they counted only 1,914. Fortunately, there's still time for you to help us save this species if you plant native nectar plants right now. So why such a drastic collapse? Well, this species requires three unique habitat types. Their ancestral overwintering sites, multinational migration corridors, and milkweed breeding grounds. Unsustainable urban development and industrial agriculture continue to chip away at habitat across their breeding grounds and migration pathways. On top of that, climate change is degrading the suitability of overwintering sites. Now, the more common eastern monarchs spend their winters in a hibernation-like state in just a few remaining pockets of OML fir forests of Michoacan, Mexico, while the western monarch makes a shorter journey and spends its winters right here in California in our cool coastal forests. But climate change is already warming the cold microclimates of these forests so that soon, without action to combat climate change and protect habitat, monarchs may no longer be able to survive their winters. Now, unlike adult monarchs, monarch caterpillars only feed on one type of plant, milkweed. In other words, no milkweed, no monarchs. The butterflies then feed on the sugary nectar of flowers. These nectar sources must be available across the monarch's entire range. A monarch who doesn't find enough nectar plants either won't reach their breeding grounds or won't be able to store enough fat to make it through the winter. And don't forget that the use of chemically toxic pesticides on flowering plants can harm monarch butterflies, even if they are not the target insect, because monarchs are insects too. We at the Living Desert are proud members of the AZA Monarch Safe Program, and we invite you to help us save monarchs. The threats to this species are long-term and will not be solved with quick fixes. But if we all act now, we can save the monarch. We just need your help. Western monarchs will leave their overwintering sites thirsty for nectar as early as February. That's right now. So to help save the species, plant native nectar plants or build a pollinator habitat. Right now, it's that simple. Plant nectar, plant now. And every flower makes a difference, whether it's on your balcony, in your garden, or at your workplace. Thank you for your support and efforts to save the Western monarchs. Check out the resources below for more monarch gardening tips.